Uh, my name is Trina Van Bipper, and uh, I moved to Warwick County in uh, 2003. I'm from Evansville, Indiana. And whenever I first came here, it was a big change in my life. Um, I started working for a nonprofit organization here in Warwick County. And that's how I found out about TriCap services. Because um, I sent my clients to TriCap. And um, we, we served low income people. And so I sent them there for weatherization. I sent them there for foreclosure prevention and IDA accounts and those type of things. And, um, and then in um, 2008, um, I changed uh, employment and um, I sent my youngest daughter to Head Start at TriCap. And so I guess that was the first time that I used um, TriCap services was in 2008. And um, my oldest daughter is five years older and I had sent her, whenever I lived in Evansville, I sent her to the Garden School, um, which is a private preschool and early elementary. They go from preschool to second grade. And um, it was very expensive. And um, I loved it. And my daughter learned a lot there. So I was hesitant about Head Start whenever I sent my youngest daughter there because I kind of felt like I wanted to keep them same. Give them the same opportunities, I guess you can say. Um, and I was very pleased with TriCap's Head Start. They um, provided everything that the private school provided. Um, they helped me with, um, at the time I was on uh, low income assistance and so I had the little government card. I never had anything like that before, pay for child care. And, um, they helped me fill that out and sent me in the right directions. and. Um, and then uh, I always liked that I got, even though I was on the government program that paid for my child care, that my volunteer hours helped TRICAP get more funds. Because I felt like, well, at least I can't pay them any money, but at least I'm contributing them to get money from somewhere else. And that always made me feel a little bit better because that was a very big change in my life to go from being completely self-sufficient to moving up here and <laughs> taking, uh, you know, uh, well, my first thing was AmeriCorps service. So I had to live at poverty level, below poverty level. And so um, AmeriCorps service requires you to uh, live at the county's poverty level and it requires you to be paid with a stipend and which was very, very low, and part of your pay is the food stamps and the um, child care program because they want you to be on all those services that your clients are on. And so it was very um, big change in my life. So I was happy that TRICAP was there uh, and the staff was great because I had no idea what I was doing, <laughs> no idea where to go for help or, or what to do. And, um, and then... In um, 2006, um, I, had, I had purchased my home, and I had always sent um, clients to the weatherization program. And so about the second or third year at my house, um, I wanted to apply for the weatherization program because I felt like there was something wrong with the windows in my house. They were very drafty, and I thought that they weren't installed right, so I wanted... To get assistance on my windows. So I applied for that grant and it's pretty random. So I applied every year from, <laughs> I don't know, 2006, 2007. And then in 2009, my name got drawn out of the hat. And so they came for the weatherization program and they did the, they did the testing on my house uh, with the blower door. And uh, I don't know, there was three gentlemen here I think and they were in my dining room and they were getting very excited I was in the kitchen and they were getting very excited and they was talking about stuff that I had no idea what they were talking about they were talking about heating and air conditioning stuff and I said and finally I just said what what what's going on what's wrong with my house you know <laughs> and they said oh no 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 nothing's wrong we think that you might we think that you might qualify for this state grant that we've never got to do before and I was like okay what's that <laughs> what are you talking about and um, so they applied for this grant for me, and instead of just getting my windows fixed, um, they 
um, fix all the um, duct work in my house and under my house and uh, fix some uh, drywall in the ceiling because I had had roof damage the year before and the insurance money ran out before I got it complete and then um, and then they put in the they got the grant for me for the geothermal system and so now I've had that for eight or nine years this is the very first year that I've had to have any service done to it at all so um, it's been great it dropped my um, electric bill down um, a lot but at the time whenever they came I had I think it, I guess it was uh, the year before I had had Boonville natural gas shut off because I just couldn't afford it my bill was $800 one, one month was $800 and, um, and I told them, something's got to be wrong. The gas is leaking or something. There's no way my my bill can be this much, you know. And uh, because we didn't have the furnace on very high, and I had the furnace checked out, and nothing was wrong with it. And um, so I just called them and told them to shut it off. And I went to Lowe's, and instead of paying the gas bill. I went to Lowe's and I bought an electric water heater and I installed it myself and <laughs> I, I took out the gas stove and we didn't have any furnace and so we had all um, electric heat the next the next winter. And so whenever TriCap came to my house, it was in the winter time, whenever they came to do the first call and I had um, four or five um, space heaters in my house. Um, really nice ones, but they're still space heaters, still very dangerous. And they had, um, and I had half of my house was completely blocked off, like my, my end of the house. I didn't use my bedroom or my bathroom. I just heated the end of the house where the kids were and the kitchen. And so everything was divided off and, and so they were kind of shocked whenever they came here. Because when I filled out my application, it wasn't like that. Um, and so... They were kind of shocked that that's the way we were living. And I just said, you know, I'm not going to pay Boonville Natural Gas that much money mm -hmm. to heat my house. Mm -hmm. Just not. And um, our bill was still pretty decent for Vectran to be heating our house that way. But I only heated about 800 square foot. And our house is 1,700 square foot. So mm -hmm. it's a pretty big difference. But um, so whenever I got the geothermal grant, that was awesome. The guys were here for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> they dug up my yard. I had roofers here at the same time because they weren't done fixing my roof. So I'm sitting out here in the yard and I got guys on the roof. I got heating and air conditioned guys. I got tri-cap trucks. I mean, <laughs> was, neighbors were going, what are you doing over there? <laughs> so, did you get a remodel or what? No. <laughs> but um, that was great. That was the greatest... Um, the greatest thing that any company or person has ever done for me and my family, the, the weatherization. And then, um, and we've continued in the winter, in the winter heat program because um, I was um, unable to go back to having a regular job um, as of 2010. So I went back to college and um, I got another degree in during that time, I worked part-time, and my health continued to deteriorate. And so this whole time, since 2009, 2010, I've been on the winter heat program. And that's the only thing that's kept our electric on in the winter months. The, and now I've, I have small business that I have started so I can stay home at work and so I can deal with my health condition and so I can work part-time at home and it's uh, it's very seasonal business so I do do really good at Christmas time but my clients uh, at my, my store are low-income clients too so they are not shopping until right before Christmas and then at tax season. And so I have that, you know, from October <laughs> till two weeks before Christmas is very, very low business. And then I, from Christmas and um, 
so I appreciate everything that they have done for me, and that's why um, that's why I like being on the board of directors, and that's why I like being involved with TriCap and telling other people about them because they have been the rock of the single mom here <laughs> since I came to Warwick County. It's been uh, it's been a, a long long road. I'm glad we can help. Thank you. You're welcome.